Hi everybody. Today I'm going to play a bunch of country licks for you over a very simple chord progression that uses just the one, four, and five chords and 16 bars. And I'm going to start out with playing cross harp on an A harmonica. This is a Honer Marine Band Deluxe right out of the box. And I opened it up and tweaked it a little bit to get the overblows and overdraws more easily. But I just want to show you that a very good Honer harmonica straight out of the box can play just about anything. And this is not customized, okay? This standard country licks on a, in cross harp. This is what you hear 90% of the time, at least, uh, on country uh, recordings or harmonica players. <laughs> There's a standard sort of bluesy country lick. And you hit, and sometimes you can hit the flat seventh on top, and sometimes you can hit the tonic and come down with the flat seventh. But on the way up, you don't hit that, necessarily hit that blue flat seventh. You can do it on the way down. It's always a, a mixture of, of bluesiness in all American music. There's a little bit of blues everywhere. And this pentatonic stuff. So anyway, uh, let me just play a little bit of country harmonica to this chord progression that I put together, made a little sequence of, and I'll uh, play some standard sonic stuff, just two courses through. Here we go. So, why can't we play it in a few other keys? I mean, it, all these licks work if you have the command of your instrument and you don't have to use overblows and overdraws. I used a bunch on this, but uh, it sure helps if you know how to do it. But for example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the key from E, cross harp, to uh, the key of D on the A harmonica, which is 12th position. And then the four chord becomes 11th position. And the five chord is first position. So if you, th you can also think um, changing the keys every time you change a chord. That's just another way to think about playing over chord changes. Okay, Here, here's an example. See how natural that sounded in this key? Because all the sweet spots on the harmonica are in a different place. You can get those thirds on the one chord and on the four chord. That's the fourth hole draw. Of course, that's the sixth hole overblow. <laughs> 
so I can play through those that whole chord progression if I want. I'll just do it one time with no overblows or overdraws. Here we go. exotic techniques to be able to play convincingly on a simple country chord progression in what's called 12th position, the key of the fifth hole draw and the second hole draw bend. Now I'll play one more, uh, I'll play it in one more key for you. I'll switch on my magic little box over here to the key of, uh, let's see, what is it? It's going to be uh, the key of B on the A harp. Now that is, uh, B is third position. Now, usually third position on a harmonica, a diatonic, um, it's in the uh, Dorian mode. It's usually minor. But now we're going to play major. With all the bends, you can get the D major, the uh, B major scale on this. And that B mixolydian, the flat seven. So those country licks, the four chord is cross harp, back to one, and the five chord is the fourth position, I know there's a lot of numbers flying around here, but which is normally a minor key, but and if you want to play that lick fully, you need the fifth all overblow. But this surprisingly is pretty comfortable once you get used to it. And just like playing in 12th position, it has its distinct advantages um, and gives you a whole different vocabulary. So I'm going to just see what happens here. Play a few choruses in B on the A harp. stuff that sounded like fiddle playing, it's surprising what we can accomplish. So that's kind of the point. Uh, to, to go outside of your comfort zone a little bit, try these standard things like this, like playing over such a standard country chord progression in these other keys, and you might find that you'll enjoy doing it. And then the side benefit is that once you, when you go back to playing, in cross harp, maybe I'll have some new ideas. Mm -hmm.